So K and J is trying our hand at making a magnetic train, a double A battery, and some copper wire. You've probably seen a few of these videos on YouTube, so we had to take a shot of ourselves. Note that this stuff isn't magnet wire. It's uninsulated copper wire. If you try to use an insulated wire for this, it won't work. So basically we have a double A battery with a magnet stuck on each end. And as it slides through the coil of wire, it makes a current through the wire which propels it forward. Here we have kind of an endless loop going to see how many we can get. see here how we put together this little train. This is simply a AA battery. Uh, we use two of our 5 8 by 3 8 magnets. You want to make sure the north, north pole is facing outwards on both sides. You can do north out or south out, but basically make sure that if the battery wasn't there, you're holding the magnets so that they're repelling each other. If you have them both flipped around, it'll just want to travel through the wire the other way. You can see when you don't have any tape, it's very loose and kind of shoves the wire around and pushes it back as it goes around the track. You get stuck pretty easy from that wire. <laughs> it's pretty fun though. Add some tape and it makes it a little bit more sturdy. find some better explanations about the uh, physics of what's going on out there. We were inspired by a physics girl who uh, had a great video about this. We'll include that in the links below. Oh, almost. And you can even double up on the batteries. You can add another battery and another magnet on the end. You can make your train longer. I'm not sure if this makes it go any faster because it's heavier, but it was kind of fun. You can even add a third one. Again, it makes it heavier, so it slows it down. It also wouldn't turn as well around the curves, but on the straightaway, it's pretty great. You ever take it off any sweet jumps? <laughs> you can take it off some sweet jumps. So here we, uh, we made a, a plastic case around it in an effort to keep the magnet centered more. And it worked pretty well, but the added weight meant it, it wasn't necessarily better. <laughs>